Hello, I'm going to discuss a book by Mary Boas, Mathematical Methods in the Physical Sciences. I have uh, the second edition here, but the third edition is the newest one, so I'm getting a third edition and I'm going to discuss the book using the third edition. This book will be very useful to students of science and engineering wishing to study all the mathematical tools necessary in their field of study. It covers various areas such as infinite series, complex number, linear algebra, differentiation, factor analysis, the Fuji series and transform, ordinary differential equation, partial differential equation, then uh, series solutions, special functions, and also probability and statistics. The first chapter is infinite series. So in this chapter, we're going to discuss convergent and divergent series and how to test convergence for series, comparison test, integral test, ratio test, and special comparison test. We are also going to discuss alternating series and then power series and how to obtain power series expansion. The second chapter is complex number. We're going to learn about the notation, the complex plane and how to do complex algebra, finding the absolute value of z, then how to graph the number on the complex plane, and also we're going to discuss about the infinite series for complex number, and the power series, the convergence, and also we're going to learn about Euler's formula. We're going to discuss power and roots of complex number and how it relates uh, to the exponential and trigonometric function. The third chapter is linear al algebra. We're going to learn about matrices, vector spaces, the linear transformation and we're going to learn about how to diagonalize matrices, uh, learn about eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and also a little introduction to symmetry groups. Chapter 4 is partial differentiation how to solve differential equations by using a chain rule, using implicit differentiation, and we're also going to discuss about Lagrange multipliers, the maximum and minimum problems with constraint, and how to solve some equation using changes of variables, and differentiation of the integrals using uh, Leibniz rule and so on. Chapter 5 is multiple integrals. We're going to learn about double and triple integrals and the various applications. And we're going to learn about the surface integrals and the Jacobians. Chapter 6 is Vector analysis. We're going to learn about 
the triple products and then differentiation of factors directional derivative uh, the gradient and some uh, expression involving nabla operator also the line integrals and green's theorem also the divergence theorem and the curl and also stokes theorem chapter 7 is fuji series and transform we're going to learn about periodic motion and then application of the Fuji series, the complex form of Fuji series, even and odd functions, and the Fuji transform. Chapter 8 is ordinary differential equations. We're going to learn various methods of solving differential equations, such as separation of variable. Then we're going to also learn about second order linear equations with constant coefficient. And with zero right hand side and also with non zero right hand side. We're going to learn about Laplace transform, how to solve differential equations by using Laplace transform, the convolution the Dirac delta function, and also the green functions. Chapter 9 is the calculus of variation. We're going to learn about Euler-Lagrange equations and the example of the Brachistochron problem and also some variational notation. Chapter 10 is the tensor analysis. We're going to learn how to write tensors in Cartesian coordinate and in other coordinates. So uh, we're going to learn about the curve linear coordinates and factor operators in orthogonal curve linear coordinates. Chapter 11 is special functions. We have factorial function, the gamma function, how to use the recursive relation of gamma function, and also beta functions, uh, relations to some uh, simple pendulum. Also, we're going to learn about error function and uh, Stirling formulas, and some elliptic integrals and function. Chapter 12 is the series solutions of differential equations. So in this chapter, we're going to learn about Legendre, uh, I think it's Legendre, Legendre's equation and also Leibniz rule for differentiating products, Rodriguez formula, the generating function for Legendre polynomials, then orthogonal functions, normalization of orthogonal functions. Then we're going to learn about generalized power series or the method of Frobenius. We're also going to learn about Bessel's equation and the graph and zeros of Bessel functions. So we're going to use Bessel function to solve differential equations. There is also Fuchs theorem, Hermite, or I think it's Hermit, Hermit functions, and Lager functions. Chapter 13 is partial differential equations, uh, the Laplace equations, uh, the heat equation, the wave equation, and vibration of circular membrane. We're going to learn about Poisson equation, then integral transfer solution of partial differential equation. Chapter 14 is the functions of a complex variable. We're going to learn about analytic functions, 
Kentaur Integrals, Lawrence Series, The Residue Theorem, and How to Evaluate Definite Integrals Using the Residue Theorem. We're also going to learn about conformal mapping. Chapter 15. The last chapter is about probability and statistics. We're going to learn about methods of counting random variables, continuous distributions, some binomial distributions, uh, Gaussian distribution or the normal distribution, Poisson distribution, and some statistical and experimental measurement. That's all for the introduction. I'll see you in the first chapter about infinite series. Thank you.